Good, e good evening, everybody. My name is Brian McDermott. I'm the Chief of Patrol of the Chicago Police Department. At this time, I'd like to offer my sincere condolences to the family of these two precious young girls, one of which who lost her life, the other one who was fighting for her life at this time at Loyola Hospital. To say that I am saddened and outraged would be an understatement. I can only hope that every resident of this city is as angry, saddened, and outraged as I, as I am at this, at this time. Too many young people have lost their lives to census gun violence in the city of Chicago. At this time, I would like to ask for the community support in helping us solve this crime. I know that there's people out there somewhere that saw something that could help us solve this crime. Anybody who saw anything can go anonymously to cpdtip.com or can contact Area 5 detectives. We owe it to the families to bring these violent offenders who have no respect for human life to justice. On today's date at 2.50 p.m., there's a shot spotter hitting the 6200 block of West Grand. Responding officers arrived, found two young victims ages 6 and 7 with multiple gunshot wounds to the body. The responding officers rendered aid while waiting arrival of the Chicago Fire Department. CFD arrived, transported our two victims to Loyola Hospital, where our seven-year-old succumbed to her injuries and the six-year-old is fighting for her life at this time. Area 5 detectives are still on the scene, interviewing witnesses, canvassing the area for anybody who saw anything, attempting to locate any private video and recovering any and all evidence on the scene. Because this is still in the uh, preliminary and in the early stages of this investigation, there's not, not a lot of information that I can release at this time. And again, I'm asking members of the public that saw anything, please go to cpdtip.com or to contact Area 5 detectives. With that, I'll open it up for a couple of questions. Can you confirm if these were sisters? Yes, they were sisters. And was anyone else in the vehicle with them at the time, or were they sitting there by themselves? Some, someone else believed to be the intended target. Uh, we don't believe that they were the intended target, and the mother was putting the two children in the back seat of the car. Were there other bullet or shell casings found in the area uh, indicating that this may have been kind of a crossfire thing, caught in the crossfire thing, or does it look like the car that they were in may have actually been targeted? There are, there are shell casings that are recovered. Uh, we can't release at this time the caliber of the, the shell casings, and we don't believe there to be any crossfire. So just one, one shooter? Yeah, so we, uh, could be multiple shooters. We don't know how many shooters, but I don't believe that there was crossfire. Have detectives seen any surveillance video yet? It looks like there were cameras on some of the homes, at least one of the homes pointing toward the area that we were concentrated on down the block from here. Has, has anything been reviewed yet showing what unfolded? So like I said, this is still in its preliminary stages. Area 5 detectives are still on the scene. Uh, they're still in the process of recovering all video at this time. Is the preliminary right now that this is a drive-by shooting from what you're gathering at this moment? No, we don't have that information at this point. We're still trying to determine whether the offenders were on foot or in a car. Are there any other kids around not shot? I'm not sure how many other people were in the area. Is there any conflict between um, rival groups or anything in that, in that block or that area? It is a gang conflict area, but like I said, we don't believe uh, that these children or their mother were the intended target. Does the mother say question. anything about knowing the person who shot at her children? I'm sorry, can you repeat did, that? Did the mother say anything about knowing the person who was shooting at her children? No. Any information on the driver of the car, the implement? No information at this time. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, guys.